is Feathers, Not Just for Flying by Melissa Stewart. Birds and feathers go together like trees and leaves, like stars in the sky. All birds have feathers, but no other animals do. Most birds have thousands of feathers, but those feathers aren't all the same. That's because feathers have so many different jobs to do. Here we can see peacock, swan, red-tailed hawk, and blue jay feathers. Over here we've got American Bittner. I can't even pronounce that one. And Pinga, a cardinal, a wood duck, a rosy-faced lovebird, and a dark-eyed dunko. Feathers can warm like a blanket. On cold, damp days, a blue jay stays warm by fluffing up his feathers and tapping the layer of warm and trapping air layer of warm air next to its skin. This is the blue jay on a branch in Maine. Sometimes feathers can be used like a cushion or a pillow. The female wood duck lines her nest with feathers she plucks from her own body. These feathers cushion the duck eggs and it helps keep them warm. And this is the wood duck on Lake Bemidji in Minnesota. Well, that's exciting. Feathers can shade out sun, kind of like an umbrella. As a hungry tricolored heron wades through the water in search of food, it raises its wings high over its head. The feathers block out reflections from the sky and shade the water. And this makes it easier to spot fish and frogs while flipping to eat. Now this is the tricolored heron in the Florida Everglades. Sometimes feathers are used to protect skin like sunscreen. On sunny summer afternoons, the red-tailed hawks spend hours soaring through the sky in search of prey. Their thick feathers protect the delicate skin from the sun's harmful rays. So just like when we put sunscreen on, feathers keep the birds from burning. Feathers can soak up water like a sponge or clean up messes like a scrub brush. On sizzling summer days, a male sand grouse cruels off by soaking his belly feathers in a watering hole. Then the proud papa flies to his nest, and while the dad guards the chicks, the little ones suck on his feathers to quench their thirst. So this is the Palace Sand Grouse in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. Now, the American Bittner always cleans up after it eats. Its feathers have bristly tips that crumbles into dusty powder. The powder is perfect for scooching away any dirt and slimy fish oil that sticks to its feathers. This is the American Bittner in the Tuletan River in Oregon. Feathers can distract attackers like a bullfighter's cape or hide a bird from predators just like camouflage clothing. Now, the dark-eyed Junko distracts its enemies by flashing the bright white feathers on the outside of its tail. Then it quickly covers the feathers and darts off in the other direction. This is the dark-eyed junco in Lincoln, Massachusetts. Now, female cardinals, dull grayish tan bodies and its feathers blend in with the forest home. They help hide and protect her nest from enemies while she sits on her eggs. And this is the northern cardinal. Columbus, Ohio. Feathers can make high-pitched sounds that sound like a whistle. And when a male club-winged mannequin wants to get a female's attention, he leans forward, raises his wings over his back, and rapidly shakes them. As the feathers and ridges rub against the feathers with stiff curved tips, a squeaky chirping sound thrills through the air. This is the club-winged manicatu. It is in a bird sanctuary in Ecuador, South America. Sometimes feathers are used to attract attention, like fancy jewelry. 
and the peacock's bright, beautiful tail feathers make him easy to spot. And at mating time, the female is attracted to the male with the biggest, most colorful fan of feathers. And this is a peacock in the forest of New Delhi, India. Beautiful. Feathers can dig holes like, brand, like a backhoe or carry building supplies like a forklift. Now, the, after the bank swallow makes their home together, the first the male must use his bill like a tough feather on his lower legs to dig a two foot long tunnel into the stream brink. He pushes the dirt out with his wings and then the female birds and builds a nest of straw and grass and leaves the end of the tunnel. Oh my goodness, so you see all these little holes going into it in the Bear River in Utah. Now these birds carry nesting materials in their beaks but not the female of the rosy-faced lovebird. When she finds grass, leaves, or strips, or bark, she tucks them under her rump feathers and flies them back to her nest. And this one is flying back to the Groob River in Nambia, Nambia, Africa. The feathers can help birds stay afloat like a life jacket. The, white, or the mute swan glides smoothly across the water's surface. Pockets of air trapped beneath their feathers help these graceful birds stay afloat, like these mute swans in the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. Sometimes feathers can help them plunge downward like a fishing sinker. Now, most birds make special oil to waterproof their feathers, but not the ahenge. The weight of its wet feathers helps the hungry hunter dive deep down in search of fish, crayfish, and shrimp. This is the Ahenge in Lake Martin, Louisiana. Sometimes feathers can be used to glide like a sled or to sprint across the snow like snowshoes. Emperor penguins have tightly packed belly feathers that form firm, slick surfaces, and the feathers make it easy for these birds to slide across the snow and ice. And this is the emperor penguins in Antarctica. And then in each autumn, the wallow ptarmigans grow thick layers of feathers on top of their toes. These are like snowshoes. And the feathers increase the size of the bird's feet so that they can shuffle across the snow instead of sinking in. And these some willow ptarmigans in the Denali National Forest, way up in Alaska. Most of all, feathers can give birds the lift they need to race across the sky. Now there are lots of kinds of feathers. Many scientists study birds and they are learning new information every single day. Right now, not all of the scientists agree about the best way to classify types of feathers. Here's one system that many scientists use, but not all. Now, the phylloplume feathers are attached to the nerves and they help the birds sense the surroundings and it lets the birds know that all of its feathers are in place. Here, stiff bristle feathers around a bird's eyes act like eyelashes. Some birds use the bristle feathers around their eyes to help locate food. Soft, fluffy down feathers keep a, bird's fe uh, keep a bird's warm by trapping the body heat next to its skin, much like we do with our jackets in the winter. Now, a semi plume feathers work with down feathers to keep the birds warm and dry, kind of like that outer layer of your jacket. Contour feathers cover most of the bird's body as they give the bird its shape and color. And then the flight feathers on a bird's wings lift it up and move it forward. Flight feathers on the tail help the bird steer and keep its balance while it's in the air. The end.